All right, folks. Hey, wiregrass hobby farming here. Uh, if you remember this spring, we started a new project with a new piece of acreage, tilling it under, liming it, fertilizing it, spraying it with glyphosate, and then seeding finally with some uh, Tifton 9 behave grass. Well, uh, it didn't turn out to be Tifton 9 behave grass, so we've got a little bit of a problem. So just, just to uh, show the difference here, I'm standing in Bahia grass right now. You can see Bahia grass gets a telltale seed stem like that, nice V pattern. It's a nice, you know, fine bladed grass. And uh, you can see it comes in fairly thick, but not overbearing thick like this through here. So get a good up close. That's Bahia grass. Now, Tifton 9 Bahia grass is simply a uh, improved version of Bahia grass. It should look familiar. It should look, uh, you know, nearly identical. A little bit more vigorous seed growth or blade growth. A little bit thicker, uh, but not, you know, it's not going to have different seed heads. It's not going to have different blade form. You know, you're going to be able to tell it's Tifton 9 or Bahia. Okay, so we come over here to the uh, newly seeded, and you can start to see where some Bahia grass wanted to come through here. Then you get out into the field and you start seeing this, uh oh, what is this? This real thick bladed stuff. Well, uh, we're calling that buffalo grass, which is like pretty much a vigorous crab grass. You see how thick it gets? Out here, we don't see a single blade of Bahia grass anywhere. It's just been choked out. Uh, now, I mean, you look at it a couple ways. One, uh, cows love it. It's really, it's really tasty for cows. Uh, it grows really thick, really tall. They really like it. Bad thing is, is it's uh, really overpowering. As you can see, nothing else wants to grow in it. And like crabgrass, it's not that desirable. I can't really sell this as Bahia grass hay. This is weeds. This is, to me, I mean, this is, I, pay, I paid for Bahia grass seed. Tifton 9, to be specific, and I got a really beautiful stand of buffalo grass. That's, that's kind of aggravating tell even the seed heads are different we got this three prong seed head here four prongs on here yeah this is I don't see any behavior grass in here whatsoever this is really disappointing to me uh, the fellow at the uh, farmers co-op where I, I bought this seed from they're coming out here next week he's gonna come out here with me and we're gonna take a look at it I don't think I don't think he believed me on the phone when I called to talk to him. I asked him if anybody else had had any issues with this uh, Tifton 9 seed they were selling. He said no, nobody's had any problem. But he's like, yeah, you know that crabgrass really comes up in the spring, and I'm like, well, I understand that, but nowhere around here has anybody planted buffalo grass or crabgrass, and you can see the prevailing winds come right out of the tree line here, so. We're not gonna get any, uh, you know, strong winds carrying crabgrass through the woods from somebody else's field. Um, and this is not just sporadic, you know, other grasses growing through. This is cultivated grass. I put this grass in the ground and this is what came up. Uh, hey, looky here. I see some I see some Bahia grass looks like it wants to come through here unfortunately it's gonna get choked out by this this stuff here so yeah this not Bahia grass so hopefully we're clear on that now Bahia grass versus not Bahia grass uh, we'll see next week if we can get any kind of resolution from the farmers co-op out of this ideally I would like to get my money back for the seed 
I would like to get enough glyphosate to kill all of this off. I mean, that's that's the bare minimum of what I can hope to retrieve out of this disaster here. Uh, you know, I've lost half the season with this. I mean, I can I can I can cut this and I can bale it and I can feed it to my cows, but. You know, I make money off hay. I can't sell this as bahia grass hay. <clears throat> you know, this is good for cows, it's good for goats, but you know, I don't know. I don't I don't know a whole lot of horse people. I don't know if horse people would be interested in this kind of stuff here. But I did just spray it for weeds with some 24D. Hopefully take the uh, bramble out and the last bit of broad leaves that are still in here. But uh, that's where we're at. Not you know, I'm happy the way it's so thick and it's come in so strong, but I'm not happy that I paid for Tifton 9 and I got uh, this stuff here. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.